Well, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. We are currently in the beginning of the game with the male main character. We're gonna go up to the fourth floor because that's where we need to go. A room on the fourth floor. Yukari Mitsuru, the chairman, and an unfamiliar male student are sitting here. Ah, there you are. Yeah. I'm glad that you're okay. Me too. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay. Let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? No, no, I would not. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? Yes. You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Yeah, that was creepy. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. I don't get it. I know how you feel. Who would believe such a story? But the dark hour occurs each night, right at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. What happens if you open the co- can you open the coffins? I don't know, that's something we didn't address. <laughs> but, that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. Akihiko? We call them no. shadows. Take that look off your face. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? No! Akihiko, why are you always like that? Right? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's for short. How did that get through the school? On paper, we're classified as a Seriously? school club. Seriously. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Hmm, so how do you fight them? Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. Great. I see. I'm glad you're quick to understand. Mitsuru opens the case on the table. A silver gun gleams uncannily from inside. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Okay. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Thanks. Holdup? Wasn't that... Yes. Oh, never mind. You join C's to fight the shadows. Huh? A voice rings in your head. Okay, so for the future, I'm not really going to be um, revisiting social links that we've already done. Thou art I and I art thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the full arcana. So in the future, such things what we've already seen before, I will just be cutting out and putting in, not a link, but a card in so you can just click on it. That way we are not spending time revisiting too many of our social links. There's not that much overlap, but there is some. You feel your inner strength growing. You recall what Igor said about the power of social links. The intensity of social links strengthens the power of the personas. Social links, are these the bonds you form with people you meet? You were still tired from your hospital stay. You decided to return to your room. Don't say goodbye or anything.
As you were dozing off, you felt someone's presence. Hi, how are you? I don't know, man. Um, and you are? We've met before. We have. <laughs> Who are you? Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. Hmm, the end? The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Creepy. Okay, then. See you later. Of course, we, um, given that this is New Game Plus, we already know who Ferris is. The boy disappeared. And, uh... What he's telling you is even more ominous, I think, if you know what he's talking about. Yukari began talking to you in class. <sighs> I thought I was going to fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. Mitsuru left. Hmm, that's it? She's probably busy with things like student council. Unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? I do. It seems that Junpei was listening too. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... She's a lot. Class has ended for today. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. You decide to go back early. Dormitory, fourth floor command room. Mitsuru and Akihiko are already here. Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> What's up? Junpei. Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. I, I, I know... I, I'm assuming Akihiko doesn't know that we know Junpei, but it is kind of strange because we know Junpei. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Um, that didn't happen to me. Big deal. It happens to everyone else. Huh, interesting. But man, <laughs> I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Huh? Uh, yeah. Chunpei has joined C. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. Yes, it does. <sighs> you haven't seen it, Junpei? No, we haven't been out yet, Yukari. Mm -hmm. It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Wait, did y'all not explain this to Junpei? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? Poor Junpei. And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. More than that. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Relax. I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. Same. 
What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. So why is he... Uh, well, we mean we know why, but that's strange. Gecko Con High School, front gate. This is it? This is the place? The fact that nobody questions why the chairman can stay awake during the dark hour without a persona, and we just kind of go with it, is kind of suspicious. Why here? That seems to be an overlook. Well, maybe not necessarily something that we overlook, but it's a bit weird. Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. There's a lot of clocks on the outside of that tower. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. L labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why did our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? No. There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. So this is Tartarus. You decide to enter the tower. Whoa. It's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. Uh, <laughs> you're in charge. Okay. But, but wait, wait, why him? He doesn't look like a leader. I really don't. But he has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. Interestingly enough, yes, we've summoned our persona, but it's only we've only done this like one day. We haven't done it any more than that. So yeah, maybe we were fine last time, but whatever. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're... St I'm aware of that. Oops, sorry, guys. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the spirit. You decide to go through the entrance. A strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. What's the matter? The velvet room, I'm sorry, the, the velvet key in your hand is shining. The key fit into the door's keyhole as if it were being sucked in. I guess we don't get a choice here. I've been waiting for you. Creepy. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Um, the nature of my power? Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. 
And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. What you doing behind the scenes? But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you all right? I don't know. Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Because I am? Um, nothing. Don't tell me you just dozed off. You're like that coach who fell asleep during the championship game. Come on, man. You're supposed to be our leader. They don't seem to see the door. <laughs> Cut him some slack. If nothing's wrong, then let's get going. Okay, so at this point, I think we can actually access a whole bunch of stuff. There's the velvet room. We'll get back to that later. We've got the save point. We've got everybody we can talk to. We also have access now to our uh, command uh, menu, basically, uh, which includes things like skills so we can see everybody. Uh, real quick here. You can see these guys are only level one while we are level 99. So we will be supporting pretty much everybody in this. Uh, additionally, uh, as you can see, we do actually have some armor for Makoto, but we do not have weapons because we played as the female main character originally. So we never picked up weapons that were for the male main character. So we're a little bit behind schedule for that, but when it comes to armor and it comes to feet and everything, we can now equip everybody else. And uh, basically we just uh, overpower ourselves. Um, we can give Yukari her bow, uh, that, so that'll be great. Um, and then also for Junpei, we can get him his really good stuff. Uh, let's see here, that's the weapon that we need uh, later on in the game. So let's go ahead and equip that. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, Armor of Light, I think, is the best. And then also some sandals. Let's see here. Is those the best ones? I think so. Uh, we can also do accessories. Of course, don't forget we do have, where is it? The Omnipotent Orb, uh, which will make our characters basically immortal. Um, it'll get us through this game real quick. Uh, I would actually maybe suggest doing that. Um, if you feel if you're if you're like if you're like me who just wants to like kind of bulldoze through things um also i think yeah we have all the money that we had previously so as you can see we have almost three million yen um persona wise we are a little bit behind which is going to make things a little bit more difficult uh let's see anything else oh item wise we do not have any one use items but we do have all our equipment and we actually do have all of our key items so we can continue to make all of the um all of the stuff from last time so we can continue there i'm going to show off tartarus for this time, but in future episodes where I do go to Tartarus, I will be showing off none of the combat. But we will here because it's the first time. Sure. Inside Tartarus. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Yes. Whoa. Is that you, senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, you, you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Okay. Why is she always like that? So let's begin. Keep in mind these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now if you can see and eliminate, and eliminate all shadows wandering around this floor. Okay, well I don't really care. So same thing as always, uh, for the record, uh, Makoto pokes not slashes with his sword. So keep that in mind. 
Uh, I'm gonna basically just ignore Mitsuru here and most of the tutorial stuff. I think, did I screw that one up? I think I did. Takeba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? No. Okay, no thank you. Okay. We will be good. Then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. We will be fine. Uh, one of the first things I do want to do is go in here and change to direct commands. We do not want them to act on their own. And uh, we can just basically go all out with these guys. Uh, because of our weapons, the coach is a little different, but because of our weapons, we can really just kind of stab our way through this. And obviously you can see, can we actually talk to everybody? Let me talk to you. I wonder how much Mitsuru Senpai really understands us. No comment on the anything, huh? Is this really inside our school? It'd be funny if we were where we are now is in front of our classroom. I was trying to see if she would say anything about, there should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. I don't, I don't care. Um, the, uh, I thought maybe she'd say something about wearing the outfit, but I guess not. Now's a good time. Okay, do you I want do not the end need any of this information. Uh, for the record, you can in fact, Persona! Use your persona. One uh, more. For the record, you may Get notice him. that Orpheus, I think I mentioned this, is different from Orpheus from the female uh, main character, and that is correct. There's two different Orpheuses. Orpheus, victory. Orpheus Great I, job. Orpheuses, two different Orpheus. I don't know what the correct plural is there. All right, last one here, I think. Were you able, if you, would you like? No, we really then. do not need any more. All right, well, let's go ahead and keep going. Now, as you can see, because we do have so much uh, yes, SP from attack. our main character, because he is level 99, um, it's really not a big deal. Another enemy down. There's only Get one left. And we're just gonna basically go all out here. That will make the first part of this game very, very easy, by the way. Now, one of the fun things to note here is that because we already have a full Persona compendium due to our new, our original game, uh, I am not going to be pulling Persona. And in fact, I will probably be doing no fusions um, in this particular run through. Like, why, why would I? Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Okay, one more. I do not need to heal, but thank you. Oh, it's big. There is a, you can then shadow. There okay, may, yeah, we would be able to use an all-out attack if our main character wasn't just one-shotting everything. Yes, uh, obviously, because this is new game plus, we are just overpowered. Another enemy defeated. Two Get remain. Em. Now, our wow, allies, of course, do not come in oh, no. as a uh, new oh, game plus. They will all be original levels, starting at one, or whatever they come into our party as, uh, which will make this a little bit more annoying, um, but that's fine. Uh, and also, we can look away from the cards here, because I really do not want to summon any sort of persona. Now, you can always just press B when you go into the cards. All right, I guess we can return. I don't really care. Let's just ignore everybody. Oh, I have to, you are forced at this point to split up and I completely forgot about that. You don't get the choice in the matter, you just split up. So let's go ahead Everyone, and let them spread out do and proceed their thing. Individually. They're gonna grab an item what? and Yukari will find the access point so we can return and we get a medicine. I hate that part. Hey, we're back. It seems you've returned to the entrance. Welcome back. So, how was it? Um, no problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. And experience. Wow, I never knew I had that kind of power. You did zero fighting. But damn, I'm beat. <laughs> that's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. 
Sweet. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. We absolutely will. In any event, by combining your powers with your teams, you were able to stand against the shadows. You feel a bond forming between yourselves. Hmm. You felt the power of your heart intensify as if in reaction to the bond between your friends. All right, again, another tutori tutorial here. Uh, we have increased our social link of Fool to rank two. Just like Yukari and Junpei, you feel tired as well. You decide that it would be best to return to your room and rest. Okay, so at this point, we're pretty much free. Uh, I don't think there's really much we can do in the Velvet Room right now, so I'm not even going to worry about it. And we're just going to move on because I think we're pretty much going to be free to start doing whatever we want. We do not become tired at this point because it's not that bad. Hey, you're Makoto, right? Yeah, why? Man, I knew it. I heard from Junpei that you're pretty close with Yukari-san. What's up with that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. By the way, I'm Kenji Tomochika. There's a morning assembly, so we better hurry. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, this school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. Where can we get her as president? Like, seriously, well spoken. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, that was freaking amazing. So, do you have any idea what you just said? Um, sort of. Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. Class is ended for today. As always, I will be skipping the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cla class, por <laughs> class portion of the classes. I will not be showing off how, you know, like the different, um, well, anything actually. I won't be showing off any classes. By the way, I forgot to mention this. If you check your person, not your persona status, uh, up top, the status here, our academics charm and courage are maxed. So we will not be needing to do anything actually with that. Dude, Mitsuru Senpai's speech this morning was crazy. I heard no one was even close to her in the election. Considering her background, I don't know why they bothered. Let's face it, we're all just plain ordinary compared to her, man. This is the chick that likes Akihiko, right? Um, I think it is. All right, well, anyway, there's not actually much to do here today, but you can actually go around and talk to everybody. We've pretty much discussed everyone before. When you were absent, there was an election for student council president. Mitsuru Senpai's speech was so cool. I voted for her. Everyone else looks so small compared to Mitsuru Senpai. Ah, Mitsuru Senpai. So if you don't have any of your stats uh, at max, obviously that is something that you want to do. Uh, we don't really have anything that we want to do here. You ran into Junpei at the entrance and decided to go home with him. Hmm. There's a commotion at the front gate. Look! It's Akihiko Senpai! Ugh. Wait for us! <sighs> Have you noticed how popular Akihiko-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I didn't used to talk to him much, but now I've got a good excuse. I know he's the captain of the boxing team, but who would have thought he'd be such a chick magnet? I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. Oops, sorry. I'm 
Hey, are you bucks. guys free this afternoon? Yes. Huh? Who? Us? Hell yeah! What you got in mind? I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. See you there. The... the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? What friends? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> oh, why can't he be more friendly? <sighs> Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Ah, oh, well, let's go. Akihiko asks you to meet him at the Polonia Mall police station. You decide to head over there. Okay, again, another tutorial type thing. I don't think anybody here has anything new to say. Uh, there will be certain times when there is new text, being that we are the male main character, but not usual. Also, music, yay. All right, well, let's go to the police station. This seems to be the police station. Let's go ahead and go in. Thank you, sir. Again, tutorial stuff. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. And this is from Ikutsuki san. Really? Sweet! You and Junpei each received 5,000 yen. You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Is Officer Kurosawa's voice Shinji's voice actor? Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you too. I'm like 90% sure it is. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Okay, so at this point, uh, we can in fact purchase a bunch of stuff. I think for the most part, um, I think actually, can we buy all of the stuff? Yeah, actually, yes, it looks like we can. It looks like we can actually purchase um, a lot of the stuff that we wouldn't normally be able to purchase at this point in the game, thanks to the fact that we are a little further on um, due to the new game plus. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a weapon for Makoto. And uh, you can also sell whatever stuff here. You know, it's the same kind of thing. Um, also, I would keep this. Yes, we. it doesn't sell for much, um, but we do want to keep that in stock. Let's see here. Um, I think it doesn't really matter, but yeah. So there you go. There you have it, everything. Psh, only 5,000 yen. I'm gonna take off since I'm in a bad mood now. Later. Wait, why? Junpei has left. What made you into a bad mood that you had to leave? Anyway, uh, because we are in New Game Plus, I'm gonna be bypassing any type of like doing anything to increase our stats. And we're just going to go straight to bed. Uh, or to the dorm and possibly to bed. Welcome back. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus, Akihiko is still on the men, so for now I'd like you to lead the team. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be prepared or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know and I'll gather everyone there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you may need to take care of, you may go out at night if you need to. Well, that's it. Keep up the good work. Okay, so we are now free. Like, we are basically free-free in the game. And uh, I want to just move on. So normally, again, you would be working on your stats. But because we don't need those, we're just going to be going to bed early. I do want to increase my condition to great because we are going to be going into Tartarus. What's up, Makoto? Huh? You're all by yourself? Dude, I thought the rumor about you and Yukari-san was true. Mmm, it is what it is. Oh yeah, well, it's not like I care or anything. But you sure have had some bad luck since you've transferred here. You know, dude, all the weird stuff that's been happening? How everyone's been saying they're hearing strange voices? Well, I guess since you're always listening to your headphones, you probably haven't heard anything. Uh, Kenji is different in this particular run-through because he um, is the imp he's an important character to the male main character, but not so much the female main character. There is someone standing in front of your desk. It's the classmate you were talking to earlier this morning. Hey man, I'm gonna get some ramen after school. You wanna come? Um, why are you asking me? No reason really, I just don't have anything to do later. 
and I thought we could finish our conversation from this morning. So what do you say, man? Let's get some ramen and talk. You accepted your classmate's offer. According to Igor, the strength of the social link is the strength of the persona. You have decided to go with him. Iwatodai Strip Mall, Ramen Shop, Hagakure. Thanks, Kenji. Phew, now that's what I'm talking about. Well, was I right or was I right? This ramen tastes great, doesn't it? I bet they put a special ingredient in it, something no other ramen shop uses. It's probably some sort of secret spice. Huh, sorry, my bad. I get all geeked up when I eat here. Hmm, I agree with you. You do, really? I mean, you could appreciate the subtle yet distinct flavor of the soup? Wow, you don't really look the type of guy I'd normally hang around with, but I guess looks aren't everything. By the way, man, I hear you and your car are close. Damn, boy, you move fast. I mean, you just transferred here. I can't blame you, though. A man's got to be aggressive nowadays. Hey, let's hang out after school again sometime. We'll get some food, and I'll tell you about my secret plan. Wait till you hear it, dude. You're going to flip. Kenji seems to like you. You have become friends with Kenji. Hmm. A voice rings in your head. All right. So, um, in the female main character's line, the magician is Junpei, but in the male main character, it is Kenji. Thou art I and I art thou. Thou has established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the magician arcana. We'll be hanging with Kenji and learn his secrets. We met Kenji as the female main character, but we never really addressed him. <laughs> getting dark out. What? It's already nighttime? Damn, I missed my favorite TV show. Man, you're one serious dude. Oh well, let's get going. You decided to return to the dorm. For the record, there is a personality difference between the male main character and the female main Welcome character. Welcome back. Uh, Yuki, have you been monitored? Oh, I'm Yuki. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that was my, my last name. Yuki, have you been monitoring your condition? Exploring Tartarus can be very tiring. If you use up your stamina exploring the tower, you will be tired for the next rest of the next day. The other's conditions will vary as well, so make sure you take that into consideration before you begin exploring. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know. Does Jim have anything new to say? Your persona is like a part of you. Okay. That's why mine only learns physical skills. Because dudes are supposed to fight with their fists. Mano a mano. Oh, that's right. I use a sword. All right. What we're going to do today is I'm actually going to go into Tartarus. And we're going to be finishing that up today. Now, I'm not going to be showing Tartarus off, but there will be a card of our main or female main character exploring the first floors of Tartarus. And you can just go view that. Most of the stuff will be the exact same. As we explore Tartarus, we'll, this will be our temporary base of operations. I'm counting on you. And I don't recall. Ah, there you are. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, I suppose it's time for me to explain what I really do here. It is my job to create new personas, but in order to do so, I must fuse your persona cards together. In other words, I shall merge them into a single persona. The number of personas you have buried within you is approximately 170. We've never seen a visitor with this many possibilities before. If you establish social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas too. <laughs> this should be proved to be very interesting. So as you accom uh, 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 accumulate cards, please bring them to me. If you wish to learn about fusing personas in more detail, then talk to me so that I may give you some hints. Okay, so Elizabeth is here and we can fuse persona. Uh, we obviously, actually we cannot fuse persona because we only have Orpheus at this point. Let's get out of here. Um, we will not be unlocking the, um, the, what, the uh, compendium for a bit. Also, Heaven's Door and the Paradigm Door are already available given the fact that we uh, are in New Game Plus, so we can enter Heaven's Door, we can enter the Paradigm Door at any point in time. But we, I'm gonna just go ahead and finish up the Tartarus stuff that I need to finish up between episodes. So we're not revisiting that. That will cut down a significantly amount of just nonsense. I will also be cutting out most of the full moon stuff, most likely. We'll, we'll see when we get there, but I will likely cut out a lot of that because we've seen it before. Though there are some major differences in some of them. So I will see you guys next time uh, as we get out of Tartarus.